Welcome to lesson 2. In this lesson, we will focus on creating store procedures to insert, update, select and delete records from the customer table. Let's begin by expanding the databases folder. Select Joe's hardware and then click on the new query icon. In the new query window, type the following SQL statement. Select star from customers. You will notice that as you type, IntelliSense will assist you by displaying a list of database objects. You can either double click on the relevant object, in this case customers, or keep typing. Now press the execute button to display the results. As you can see there are currently no records in the customers table. Let's manually add a record to the table by doing the following. Expand the tables folder, then right click on the customers table and select edit top 200 rows. This will open an edit table window. You will notice a row with null values. This essentially acts as a new row. Make up some customer information to enter into each cell, using either the tab key or the cursor to move along the columns. As you enter values in a cell, you will notice a small red icon appear with an explanation mark. This denotes that the data has yet to be saved to the database. The data will not be saved until you have entered acceptable values in each cell and moved off the row. Notice that you cannot enter a value in the customer ID column. This is because we declared this as an identity field in lesson 1. Once the record has been saved, the customer ID value will be added automatically. Close the current edit table window. You should now just have the SQL query window where you typed the select statement earlier. Press the execute button again. Having just entered the record manually, we will now create a store procedure which inserts a customer record in the customers table. Expand the Programmability folder, select the Store Procedures folder, right click on the folder and select New Store Procedure. This will open a new query window which contains some SQL and comments. The comments can be seen in green text. These are preceded with a double dash. The remaining code is essentially the SQL template for creating a new store procedure. Replace the SQL template syntax as shown in the lesson guide. What we are doing here is creating a store procedure called insert customer, declaring some parameters so that we can pass some data to the store procedure. Finally, we have an insert statement which will insert the parameter values we pass to the store procedure into the customer's table. Notice that we have not added a parameter for customer ID and have not included it in the insert statement as this is added automatically. Once you have replaced the SQL syntax, press the Execute button. This will then compile and save the syntax as a pre-compiled store procedure. If this has saved successfully, the results window will display the following message, Commands completed successfully. If you do not see this message, review the syntax as it does not match. If all is OK, close the query window. To see the store procedure you have just created, right click on the store procedures folder and select refresh. Notice you now have a store procedure called insert customer. We will now add another record to the customers table 
using the store procedure you have just created.